Welcome back to, this is technically the same day if you guys are watching, but like, you know. You it, can't it, say we that! We have to make sense of this. Come on, dog. You can't expect us to film like a video in one day. But anyways, uh, this is what, fourth day of Vlogmas? This is fourth day of Vlogmas. Fourth day for you guys, third day for us. Yeah. But anyways, um, today we're going to be talking about, as you can tell from the title, five things that we love about the Alfa Romeo Giulia. Yeah. And first and foremost, if this is your second time here, or if this is your first time here, you guys can go back and see that I made a video called five things I hate about the Alfa Romeo Giulia. And first, I'd like to apologize to Italian community. Uh, I didn't realize the history of Alfa Romeo. Again, you have to forgive me. This is like the first time that the car, like I don't really know about these cars. First time in 30 years are sold here. I still really didn't know how deeply rooted it is into your guys' culture, how much the yeah. car means to you. It's like shitting on somebody's football team here, you know. Yeah, it goes pretty deep. And again, that video, and I, I hope you guys got from that, it was supposed to be positive. <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to be positive. I actually liked the, uh, I actually liked the car a lot of people didn't take it as positive. So I figured, you know, why don't we come back Let's do five things that we love about the Alfa Romeo because we have nothing but positive things to say about this car Especially as we got to get a little bit more custom to it over the years I think this is be a pretty pretty solid video yeah. of five things we love about the Alfa Romeo yeah. Giulia And you aren't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe Please subscribe 25 days of consistent uploads so some of this stuff may seem repetitive if you're like subscribed and you have the bell and you, it's, you know you're seeing us every single day it may seem repetitive but they yeah. you know we're making this video for people who haven't seen any of our past videos or are looking at these cars and say hey i'm really interested in something like this right um so again may seem repetitive but follow along with me if you guys agree with these five things put it down in the comments if you don't agree with these five things yeah. let me know or put in the comments what's your favorite thing that's a good one. <laughs> first thing i want to talk about brembo brakes you can't see it, but under here, there's a carbon fiber drive shaft. 50-50 weight distribution. It is the best valued car out there, in my opinion, hands down. Yeah. I made this last video challenging somebody to see if they can give me a better car and a better deal. I told them that I would buy it if you can sell me on it. Which, again, come on, let's be honest, no one's going to sell me on it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there's no car in this, in this market that's up sub 30 25 to thirty thousand dollars that you're gonna get as much value that you get in this car yeah quality hands, stuff hands down there's no car fortunately and unfortunately fortunately for the people that are buying unfortunately for the alpha mother brand they just don't retain value like i know they don't retain value that well <laughs> um you know so you can pick these up in the great in the great thing you pick these up for again twenty five thousand dollars we picked this car up, and I know you guys know this, and if you guys are a long time viewer, we picked this car up for $18,000. Yeah. We did a price breakdown of how, how much it took us to get everything to where we're at right now. You can guys go check out that video. But $18,000 for this, I will, I will die <laughs> saying there is nothing on the market that will beat this for that price point that's as mm -hmm. new and has the features that this car has. Hands down, period. There's, I mean, there's no debating me on that. Yeah. <laughs> I will go down fighting for this brand. <laughs> Um, but anyways, value. That's the first thing. Value. Second thing. Um, I personally love that you can, everything's interchangeable. Everything's a plug and play. That's... So, some of our earlier videos, if you guys have seen them. What? We put cheap carbon on and we got Oh my god, we got dragged. dragged. <laughs> hard. Yeah, hard. Why would you put they this... They ripped our wigs off for <laughs> sure. Why would you put this cheap plastic <laughs> on this car? <laughs> um so dragged. I was trying to do an affordable mods at the time. Yeah. Um, obviously, we've gotten far past affordable. But one of the best things about this car, and if you've owned other cars, like owned other Euro cars, everything isn't just as easily plug and play. Mm -hmm. QV hood, plug and play. QV fenders, plug and play. QV front bumper, plug and play. Everything from everything. QV on backwards is a plug and play. If you guys saw the Sparco install video, can you up unlock the car? If you guys see the Sparco seats video, this was entirely plug and play. All we did was a proxy alignment, plug and play. This is so plug and play, they left the plug in here for you to plug and play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shifter, plug and play. Everything, this carbon, again, this carbon that we did in here was a absolute nightmare. Yeah. But the point is that you can take this from an $80,000 chassis, a QV, and literally just kind of customize the car how you want it. So it's like modifications in a way, but OEM modifications. Yeah. I've, you know, one of the things that makes JDM cars so lovable 
is that they're easy to work on. They're easy to make things plug and play. Um, I think because people don't know about this brand, it's kind of scary. But one of the best things that I found about this is that is everything is plug and play from the OEM factory. Yeah. That it makes putting these higher quality mods a little bit easier. Yeah, it uh, is intimidating to work on this car. It is. You don't. I mean, it's an expensive car. You don't want to mess it up. But once you start actually getting into it, it's it's simple. Yeah, it's not that I'll keep mentioning the hybrid turbo because the hybrid turbo impresses me so much. But once you get these things to 400 horsepower for a daily driver, there is nothing on the market that compares. Third thing, most important thing. In 2017, this car won, uh, I think sexiest interior or best interior. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't remember I think what it's the- sexiest interior, honestly. But there's no interior that looks as good as this, in my professional opinion. Um, I mean, look, I mean, this right here, I mean, it's just the steering wheel is gorgeous. The infotainment center is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The way that everything just perfectly lines up, it just looks well, well thought out and well put together. Even if you don't have QV seats, right, or if you have Sparco seats, you just have like regular normal seats, they're still really beautiful. Um, the, the, the stitching on all the parts you know um i will say i have a trd uh momo steering wheel which is like a very rare production um from my rs1 that car only had thirty thousand miles and that top of the line steering wheel is rough it, yeah it's a little it's, rough it's rough <laughs> compared to this right uh, even the stock steering wheel, they yeah. have, you know, 50, 60,000 miles on the car and the steering wheel is perfect and ha has held up really well. Even the back seats, you feel like there's not a lot of, excuse all this stuff back here, but, uh, even the back seats, you feel like there's not gonna be a lot of space. Um, obviously the QVs, uh, the sparkers are a little different, but for the, uh, for every other seat, it has like an indent in the back seat and it makes it just really spacious again like i said just really thought out maybe the qv seats weren't the sparkles weren't thought out but for the most part everything else was <laughs> uh, no i'm saying they just don't because every other seat buckles in mm. except for the QV. if you're sure for but i guess yeah. they're a little bit thinner right yeah i would say so and then if you want to get very specific because i remember the last time i made this video and here can you hold yes. this uh, oh god <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. The last time that we made this video, uh, the five things that we hate about oh, shit. The five things that we hate about the Alfa Romeo Julia. The last time we made this video, somebody said they're not specific to the car, which is like okay, I guess, dude. So I'm gonna do my most specific mod, which is the dynamic selector. Oh, okay, it's not on. Oh, sorry, that's me. Personally, for me, I love this. This, I know it doesn't really do much. But turning it into race mode is literally my favorite thing to see in the interior. I don't know why, it just it just really- It looks cool. It looks cool, it looks cool. But also, if we're talking about the dynamic selector, being able to put in A, uh, get, here, you can see my actual yeah. MPG. Okay. We get 25 miles to the gallon, but you can get up to like 30 if you drive it really. It's like, there you go. We get 25 miles to the gallon. You could possibly get 30 if you drive it like a normal person, but you know. Who wants to drive this like a normal person? Yeah. But at the end of the day, you get. Can you go through the mod mods or the modes? Yeah, the dynamic selector. Obviously, if you have race mode. You get race. You get dynamic. Natural. I don't know what that is. Economy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A Advanced eco. I think yeah, it is. So. I could be wrong. But this is my, this part right here. I don't. Again, I don't know what it is about it. Again, the paddle shifters along with it, right? You can both hand in hand. But yeah. this dynamic selector, um, being a, this is. I don't know. Like this, even when you turn it for racing, look what it says. I don't know. That's cool. That's very specific. I, that's my favorite favorite feature. I don't know why it is. Like they put that in there knowing you're about to throw down. It's you just know? aesthetics. <laughs> I don't know. It's aesthetic. So very crazy. specific to the car. Race mode. That's what I like. Here's the last point. Hopefully you guys like the video so far. You guys like some so. of my points. Um, if you don't like some of my points, go ahead and put it in the comments. I won't respond to you, but go ahead. <laughs> if they're positive, I will respond. Um, I will for sure read them. Here's the last point. The Alfa Romeo community is like no other community that I've ever oh, been a part yeah. of. Um, and I, I'd really like to point out a few people here, right? Um, Euro, uh, Euro Compulsion, they've been a, a huge supporter of the channel. Um, they've always have nice things to say about us. They're always very interactive. Boris at Madness, really great guy. They invited me down to Austin when I first got my Julia, uh, my first Julia. 
Jason uh, Alfisimo, one of the nicest guys. He's always so helpful. Um, just good guy to have conversation with. Jad at eTuners, um, obviously mm -hmm. he helped us get some of these parts, but always great conversations with these people. These are some of the biggest distributors of aftermarket parts and OEM parts for the Alpha community, and they have been nothing but welcoming. Um, yeah, really nice every, every single time that we reach out to somebody, it's always been extreme. They've always been extremely nice. I've made some lifelong friends within this Alpha community, um, and this, you know, I've gone to meets before. JDM meets, you go, say hi, la 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 la, and then you take off, right? <laughs> uh, the, these groups are a little bit different. The first time I went, uh, we went to go have. Uh, dinner uh, dinner uh, Italian pasta which was weird because it was like a car meet but we met at a pasta place <laughs> yeah and that was the Just, first time we ever we had, had dinner we sat down had dinner yeah. talked with some people you know we went to affairs you know he went to the tour in his Julia we came back and we had a really good conversation with Ofer and everybody there you know they, they everybody was so welcoming but it's like a family it really is it's really a tight-knit community um, so community overall with the alpha community if you guys aren't into your local groups, if you guys want to get into your local groups, I highly suggest it. Again, to recap. Oh here. yeah. Recap everything. Value. Bar none the best. Yes. Mods. OEM mods. By far. I don't know, I didn't really talk about aftermarket, but OEM mods. The easiest car to replicate and put expensive Sparco parts on from the factory. Third thing was interior. Best interior, bar none, in any other car for mm -hmm. luxury sedan where you're getting at this, again, value. Thing, dynamic selector, race mode, my favorite thing, economy, fuel economy, 30 miles to the gallon, 25 to 30. And then the last thing is community. Yep. And that's five things that we love about our Alfa Romeo. Yeah. I think that this, every day that I'm in this community, it makes me love the car that much more, in my opinion. Yeah. I hope that you guys go and support, not as much as you support us. I know you guys are shopping at their websites, mm -hmm. um, but make sure you guys show support to them as well. Um, not just like the, the content creators of this, but they make the alpha community a little bit better. Again, join your local yeah. groups, get well c c connected within the community. Join Facebook groups. Fa I literally can't. People always ask me, where'd you go to Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> I hate Facebook. I don't post. If you go to my personal Facebook, I literally post nothing. You don't. You barely get a picture of me. Yeah, for real. But I'm deep in those Facebook groups every morning. Literally. <laughs> I'm talking with everybody in those Facebook groups. Facebook Messenger. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, I hate using Facebook for anything else other than socializing with my friends in the mm -hmm. Facebook. And group. buying car parts. And buying car parts. Yeah. Um, really, what it's used for. But I hope you guys enjoyed <sighs> this video. It was cold. Another another day of Vlogmas completed. Aren't you guys proud of us? We're doing good. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we love you guys. We love the support. Again, merch coming extremely soon. Yeah, merch. On the printing press. This is not the final ignition, but. This is not final, but. And we, you know. oh, update to that. We got it in, 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 what is it? In black. And then it's like oatmeal. a oatmeal or it's cream color. Oatmeal, but it's cream. It's like an off-white. It's off -white. not white. It's like an off-white. It's like an off-white. But now we got it in two colors. So you can buy it in any color that you want. And hats and are coming. And ha hats. We have two new designs that yes. I just finished up. So woo <laughs> Crazy stuff. All right, guys. That's enough. I know you guys are tired of us talking. We'll see you guys in the next one. Fuck it.